Hi friends, I'm actually at work right now. My students are out at recess and so I was just gonna really quick upload the video, um, tonight's video to YouTube and I remembered that I forgot to let you know that my parents have a Thousand Trails membership that they're trying to sell and there's no down payment and it's a discounted rate. It's a really good deal. So if you are interested in that at all, um, contact me at grassrootsliving180 at gmail for more information on that. Now let's get to the video. Hi, I'm Shalane, this is Dean, and we are Grassroots, Grassroots Living. Living. And this is how we live our love. We are so glad that you're with us again today. We're super excited. A couple weeks ago, we took you to Flume Gorge. You guys went on a hike with us there. Yep, in the state of New Hampshire. Yeah, in New Hampshire. And we, had, we found a really, really nice free campsite near there. So we were able to stay there before our travels on to Quichi Gorge, or is that how you say that? Probably. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Well, our smart speaker said it a different way, but the lady at, that worked there... I would go with the lady that worked there. I think she said Queechy. Anyway, so check out uh, the video we did a couple weeks ago on Flume Gorge so you can see that. That was really, really cool. On today's video, we're going to um, show you a great campsite, right, where we went boondocking. Right. I found it on iOverlander. Mm -hmm. And it's um, a few miles southwest of Lincoln, New Hampshire. Uh, you, you have to take, um, I want to say, Highway 112 to the southwest, uh, towards the southwest out of Lincoln, and then you'll get to Highway 118. 118 is the key. You turn on that highway, you go down that road a few miles. It's a beautiful road, windy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, 118 itself, the whole that whole highway. Yeah. It's really pretty. Right. And yeah. uh, anyhow, you'll come to a... To a point where you have to go to Elbow Pond. Elbow Pond. We'll show you a little map on here. Yeah. yeah. And uh, as you head down that road, it's not even very far, maybe 100 yards or less, yeah. uh, you'll find some, some camping spots, and yeah. which we stayed at and we absolutely loved it. Yeah. The first night we stayed on one side of the little bridge that you're going to see, and the second night we stayed on the other side of the little bridge that you're going to see. When we first got there, though, we went down the long, narrow road. I'm gonna show you some of that. I hope you guys don't feel like it's too much footage, but I wanted you to really have an idea if you'd wanna to go to Elbow Pond itself. That is a very long, very narrow, very pretty. Yeah, three, uh, three spots road. down there by the, by the pond. Right, and I, I think it's it's less than five miles, maybe yeah. four miles or so, but it, it took us a while to get down there because I, I could have walked much faster than we were driving. And thank goodness we had a very low profile um, right. pop-up truck camper at the time. And even then I was worried we were going to get scratches yeah. on the side. It was It's a very thin road. Right, very narrow road and not much room to turn around. So don't go down that road if you have a fifth wheel. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> big rv anything more than a you know maybe maybe a tiny 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 travel trailer yeah. um truck campers and van lifers that road's for you but so if you go down that road i keep clapping that's my cheerleader okay uh if you go down that road it's a lot a lot more peace and quiet we stayed close to the main highway it really wasn't too bad we'll talk about that in the video um, so you'll see that, but a really, really great free campsite. Yes, it was. So let's go there, and then we're going to take you out for some ice cream, and then we're going to go to Queechee Gorge. So let's go camping.
might be crazy I hope it is Baby, this is what we do We leave it all Up for sale Cause we are going somewhere new Tonight I ain't letting you out of my sight Ooh. Freedom is a rare thing Only a few of us can share We gotta keep on moving towards the dream to anywhere. Here we are at our campground in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Early in the morning, the low temperature this morning was 43 degrees here on August the 5th. Beautiful little spot. We really loved our stay here, just outside of Lincoln, New Hampshire. Uh, it's been absolutely beautiful. The one drawback that we found is that, at least uh, on weekends, because we got here Saturday and also stayed Sunday night, this shooting range, not a private one, just open to anyone, is quite busy. There's a lot of activity here, so you're hearing gunshots. If you have PTSD, I would not recommend uh, staying here by any stretch of the imagination. But if you're a gun enthusiast, you just want to go practice shooting, this might be a perfect place for you. But do know that throughout most of the afternoon, if you want to try to take a nap, it's not going to happen um, in terms of having a nice peaceful setting. There are going to be people in and out all day long firing off their weapons, at least while we were here in early August that was the case. Now, weekdays it might, might be a lot better. But this is the actual road that you take as you drive in. You can see there's a little bridge to cross, uh, a nice little stream, and uh, we did find it to be a, a perfect place for us. That's why we wanted to go ahead and stay an extra day, simply because of how beautiful this area is. There is a road, Highway 118, that is literally right there at the end of that um, gravel road. And it does have a little bit of traffic, but again, by the time 10 o'clock gets here, there's little or no traffic on that highway at all. So hopefully you enjoyed that and now you have an idea of where you could go boondocking if you go anywhere in that area, which you should go to that area because so much great hiking there. Yeah, it's absolutely Yeah, fun. there's a river all along that highway and there's people all the time pulled over and just going and playing in the river. So just a ton of fun, a really great spot. So then we decided to travel on. I have got to quit clapping. Why am I clapping today? <laughs> Just um, excited. I'm excited. <laughs> well, I'm excited because next we got ice cream. Yeah. So we just enjoyed this gorgeous drive. Um, we were on our way ultimately somewhere. Who knows? I don't even remember right now. But on the way there, 
not even to Queechee Gorge. That in and of itself was a fun surprise stop. We love fun surprise stops. And on our way, we saw, we were going through and we saw this random town with this random missile. We yeah. saw a missile. Big rocket. Uh, it seems that there was somebody there that was kind of associated with the space program. In, in what town? Uh, Warren, Warren, New Hampshire. Warren, New Hampshire. Warren, New Hampshire. And uh, he, was, he just thought, you know what? The kids in New Hampshire, in that area, really know nothing about anything about the rocket ships except for you know what they see on TV. So he thought, wouldn't it be great if we could just bring it there? So he asked them if we could have what? Have it. And they said, okay, we're not going to pay for you to ship it all the way to New Hampshire. He said, no problem. All I need is a rocket. And then they put up, I think it's 73 feet, 73 foot rocket in their, in their little town. Yeah. So we're driving along and there's this cute little town and there's this missile. Is it a missile? A rocket? I'd call it a rocket. Missile rocket? Redstone is what they call it. And I said, babe, turn here. I do that a lot. And as, so we drove. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we drove by that to just check it out. And as we kind of turned the corner to go back out, I saw ice cream shop. We saw ice cream shop. It was called Moose Scoops and it was so good. It was such a fun, sweet little um, ice cream shop. And there were so many different, fun, unique flavors. And the whole place was just awesome. Right now, they're not letting anybody sit inside. Right. Right, because of COVID. It's the year of COVID, but yeah. you can still, it's got like a... And I think they're probably closed for the winter. I don't oh, know they how. might be. I love eating ice cream in the winter. Really? Yeah, I do. Anyway, but they have an outside seating area, and we saw um, uh, Bigfoot. Yeah. yeah. We saw Bigfoot there. So, anyway, the ice cream shop was awesome. enjoying some fabulous ice cream we were really full because did you see the scoops we got but the prices weren't bad they weren't like bad at all. no in that big uh waffle bowl with like five scoops of ice cream was like four fifty yeah, it maybe it really wasn't bad it was like super cheap anyway really good okay so then we we're on our way to the grand canyon of the north of the new england states right we'll <laughs> There's a lot of places. I can't this tell you how many places say they're the Grand Canyon or whatever. Yeah. So we decided to go see said canyon, and that was also a beautiful drive. Pulled over, walked out onto the bridge, um, and it was it was a pretty impressive. It gorge. really was. It really was. Yeah. It goes across the Ottauquechi River. I think is how you say it. We don't know. That might be it. I guess you could take like a five minute hike on down to the river if you needed to. Right. You, no, and you could actually hike. There's a, quite a significant hike there as well. You could hike along the river. We did not actually have time for that. That was kind of a quick stop, but it was definitely a stop worth making. But the more fun part of that was, um, what was it? Like billet, like the Queechee? Queechee? The Queechee River Village, which I think is the reason why she didn't want to go down and do the hike down to the river because there was a shopping center. Don't judge me. Don't even judge me. No, I had to go. Oh, is that what it was? Okay, well, we won't yeah, say remember, that to them. Well, no. <laughs> no, I saw, okay, so we were on our way out kind of and I saw the little village thing and I really did have to use the restroom. And so I was like, babe, just pull over really quick. And he's like, ugh, with the rolling eyes. And so I went in really quick and used the restroom and it was so cute. And then I went out and got him and I said, come in, it's so cute. Isn't that kind of how it went? That's exactly how it went too, yeah. Okay, but let me tell you something. So then else. I went and I got up and I went on and it really was cool. He was glad. Yeah. He usually is glad when I, when I kind of twist his arm a little bit and ask him to 
to do things he doesn't want to do and he does them and he's usually pretty happy about it but let me tell you the funny thing about this little um what's it called again village village <laughs> this little shopping village i felt like okay it was summer but when I walked in, it was cozy and it felt like Christmas. And I don't know if it was the colors, the atmosphere, the fact that I felt like shopping for Christmas. I saw all kinds of gifts that I could get. It felt like Christmas to me. And then even more so because we went upstairs. Tell them what was upstairs. Okay, upstairs there was a museum and it had toys from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, all in one room, you know, des you know designated for that particular thing. And it was just, it was it was cool. You just so go back. Fun. I'd go, oh, I remember getting that when I was a kid. Oh, I remember getting that, you know. Yeah, it was a free, free toy museum. Yeah. I think they asked for donations. Yeah, and donations. Yeah. We dropped in a little bit of, of money, but it was a free toy museum. And I'll tell you what will make you feel old. It makes you feel old enough when you start seeing your own toys, right? In, in toy museums, especially when they call them like the antique toys. Yeah. <laughs> but this will be what makes you feel old. When you go into a toy museum and you see your children's toys on, on display. display as antiques, <laughs> as antiques. <laughs> like what so um the video that we're going to show you does have kind of a quick clip of each one but i didn't zoom in or zoom out or anything i just left it as the solid picture and i did that so that when you get to the eras, eras that you want to look at you can pause the video and kind of check out all the little toys behind the glass but if you get a chance to to drive by there and check out that little free Great toy cheese. museum oh yeah well cabot cabot cheese yeah cabot and of course then they were doing the samples which they won't be doing now but you can get some great cheese there and um, maple syrup and all kinds of fabulous stuff but the funnest part was the toy museum upstairs that made you feel like going through the dc penny catalog and circling what you yeah, wanted my favorite part for was christmas the the toy train Oh, the train! That was cool. Yeah. Also, something really else that made me feel like Christmas. A long time there, just watching the, yeah. the different things going along that track. So we're talking too much. So check out this little um, village and this little shop and the toy. And if you want to know museum. how to get there, it's about uh, it's just a few miles south southwest of Hartford, Vermont. So by this time, we've made it into Vermont. So pretty. And just like I said, not not far at all from the, the actual Queechy Gorge. Overlook. All right, so let's check out this little toy museum.
We are so glad that you came with us today. We hope you found a, a great new place to boondock and a pretty little highway and ice cream and random missiles and that really fun little toy museum. We hope you enjoyed that. As you can see, um, it is almost Christmas time. We wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. We hope that even with all this COVID silliness and sadness that um, you are having wonderful holidays. Do we have anything else? Please consider subscribing if you're not subscribed to our channel already. We're here every Tuesday night and we sure enjoy seeing all of you here as well as um, just chatting with people on Tuesday nights when when and, we can and, and if you want you can you can count the number of times she does this to her hair it'll you'll need a calculator <laughs> i fidget i do fidget we're glad that you were here with us today we will see you next tuesday until then this is grassroots living reminding you to get down to the grassroots of what makes you happy and live your love we're thinking of you and we'll catch you next time peace out